Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will explain Bitscap's crypto grid bot profit and loss, how they report it, and how you can reconcile that profit or loss on your actual exchange account like Binance. So if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it is a all-in-one trading platform that has a variety of features including arbitrage, you can demo trade, but today we'll be focusing on their grid bot and how it reports its profit and how you can actually reconcile that profit with your exchange. Now, if you're wondering what type of investment is required to get started, you can actually get started for free. I will leave a link in the description down below. And when you use that link, you'll get a 14 day free trial of their pro plan. Now, after your free trial expires, you can sign up for the basic plan for $19 a month. And that will get you two active live trading bots. If you want to step up to a few more active trading bots, you could give the advanced plan a shot at $44 a month and that will give you five active trading bots. Now the plan that I actually use is the pro plan and I typically have somewhere between 10 to 15 bots deployed at any given time and therefore I utilize their pro plan. So that's enough jaw jacking, let's get into the details. Now before we get into the weeds, it is important that you understand how a grid bot actually functions and it all revolves around open limit orders. And those open limit orders are both on the buy side and the sell side. And so as the price action moves down and hits one of the green lines of the grid, it will execute a buy order. And when the price action moves up and hits one of the red lines of the grid, it will execute one of the sell orders. And so the concept behind the grid bot is to buy the dip and sell the rip back up. You're buying low and selling high. And that is how the bot achieves profit. And another factor to consider would be the spacing between each one of these grid lines that's based on a percentage. And that would also have an effect on your profit as well. The larger the space between each line could be a larger profit as the price goes up or down to buy. You'd be buying at a lower price based on the spacing between each grid line. But in the end, the important thing to understand is the bot buys low and sells high for profit. Now, if we scroll down, we can take a look at some of my bots that have been closed out over the last couple months. And as you can see, there's a couple different columns. One's called change and the other one is bot profit. I know there is occasionally some confusion about the difference between bot profit and the change percentage. Recently in the Recon Trader Telegram group, which you can actually join via the link in the description down below, there were some questions regarding bot profit versus change percentage. And so that is part of the reason why I am making this video to help explain this to you. Bitscap is not trying to mislead anyone with the intel they're providing. They're actually providing you more intel so you can do better recon and have a better understanding of how your bot is performing. They're not misleading you. More than likely, rather than misleading, it's misunderstanding. Just because you don't understand the information doesn't mean it was misleading. You're probably misunderstanding the information. And so to clarify, let me explain what the change percentage is and the bot profit, what they both mean. Now the change percentage is basically a change of your investment relative to the current value. When you deploy a bot, you have an entry price. Then as the bot works and buys and sells via the grid, you earn bot profit. Once you close that bot, you then have an exit price. So your change percentage or your change of your investment relative to current value is basically your entry price versus your exit price plus your bot profit. And if we look at the first example in my list of bots, Sol USDT had a change percentage of 6.24% and a bot profit of 22, almost 23% or $182. Now where the confusion seems to come in is a lot of folks think that this 182 is their profit. So then they jump over to their exchange to try to find that $182. That's not your actual profit. That is the money the bot earned while being deployed. Now, what can affect that is you hold coins the whole time that bot is deployed in order to sell on the way up. If the price of those coins goes down, then the value of your investment goes down. And in this case, Sol USDT 
when Bitcoin dumped down to 30000 its price dumped. Therefore, my profit when I closed this bot was only 6.24%, not 22.79%. Now, if I had just invested in Sol and bought the token and not deployed a grid bot, I would have had a loss the day I sold these tokens of approximately 16%. The grid bot actually made 22% and therefore I actually was able to capture just over 6% because you do have to take into consideration that the price of Sol went down around 16% when Bitcoin dumped to 30,000. And so the fact I had a grid bot deployed and it had been capturing some profit that actually saved me from having a loss on this position when it closed out. Same thing with Matic. It was up almost 86% or $821. And again, this is not the amount of profit I have sitting on the exchange. It's actually the 51.87% because when Bitcoin dumped, Matic dumped as well, and therefore I did take a hit off of this 86%, but I was still able to capture 51%. Now, had I not had a grid bot deployed, I'd have had over a 30% loss on this position. And if we look down towards the bottom of the list, you can actually see my Atom USD position was up about 4.25%, and ended up a loser of almost 7%. Now that position got triggered as a stop loss, and therefore I did realize a 7% loss on this position, not a 4% profit. My loss without my bot profit on this particular position would have been almost 11%. And what I recommend is actually reconcile these figures with your exchange account. Now I'm going to use band USDT as my example for actually reconciling the profit to see if this 13.81% is what I actually realized while this bot was live and running. And if we zoom in, you can see the band USDT grid bot ran for just about 12 days. When I closed it out, I had a bot profit of almost 14%, but my realized profit once I closed the bot was 13.81%. And that is due to my initial investment value being slightly higher than my investment value when I actually closed the bot. And therefore, the bot profit offset that difference and still gave me a 13.81%, which I have verified on my Binance account. And so we'll jump over to Binance. And when you log into Binance, depending on if you're on Binance US or Binance.com, they both offer you the ability to go to your trade history and actually look at your trade history. Now, I would not expect you to go through every single trade to try to calculate this out. What you can actually do is click on export recent trade history and that will export an Excel file that looks something like this. You can actually sort your orders by type. And what I generally do is I'll go through and I will capture all my buy orders, copy and paste those, add up that value over here. You can see buy. These are all my buy orders. And you can use the auto sum feature to add up all the values of this column. And then I will also capture all my sell orders and auto sum that column. And if I page down, you can see the total of all my buy orders. This is what I spent to buy all the band while the bot was deployed. And you will find the sell total, which is the amount I sold all the band for. And so when I subtract the buy amount from the sell amount, I end up with, in this case, the sell amount was greater than the buy amount. So I ended up with a profit. Now, they also include a column of fees. And so you've got to add up all your fees. And when you subtract the fees, I end up with a profit of 86.89 and some change. And rather than calling this initial investment, I should actually call this investment value. And so the investment value was 633. When you multiply that by my investment change of 1381, you get 8741. Now there is a slight difference between the 8741 and the profit of 86.89. And that is because when I copy over these columns, there are a lot more zeros than are actually added up in the actual columns. So there's a slight rounding error of a few pennies. 
I am basically off by 52 cents and that is more than likely due to missing out on a couple pennies here and there on the columns that didn't completely copy over and in reality for me a 52 cents difference is close enough to verify that the bot did actually return the amount that Bitscap reported. Now I do perform this recon on the majority of the bots that I close whether they be Bitscap grid bots or crypto hopper bots I've shown you in previous videos on crypto hopper how I went in and verified PL. If you're not reconciling your exchanges to your grid bots, you really should not be complaining about how the platform reports their data if you're not willing to go through the actual data on your exchange to verify that it is either correct or incorrect. Now, with that all being said, there's one last item I do want to point out. And up here, you'll see bots total profit. And again, that's not the profit you're going to find in your exchange. That is basically this column, bot profit, all added up and totaled up here. It is not your profit. If you want to know your profit of your bots, it's basically going to be the change percentage. And if you have live bots running, then that change percentage will be changing as the price action changes. Now, in this case, these are all closed bots. So this is the actual realized PL for these particular bots. And if you want to make your life easier and understand what your profit or loss is, you can just focus on change percentage. And that would be your profit or loss if the bot is closed, or that would be kind of an unrealized PL if your bots are still live and active. So that pretty much wraps it up. I wanted to do a quick video and I'm way past that now at this point in time. So if you like this video, do me a favor and spike a like. If you're interested in making money trading cryptocurrencies, now would probably be a good time to shoot that subscribe button because that is basically the type of videos that I do make. If you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Bitscap in the description down below so you can get that 14 day free trial of their pro plan. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.